how to use GoodNotes or GoodNotes 6. I just recently switched from GoodNotes 5 to GoodNotes 6. So in this video, you'll see a couple differences from GoodNotes 5 to GoodNotes 6. I'll reference them, but for the most part, this is just a beginning tutorial of how to use GoodNotes with all the features. <music> If you're switching from GoodNotes 5 to GoodNotes 6, you're going to notice a slight change in the toolbar. So the top of the toolbar is slightly changed. Our pencil and our microphone and our keyboard has changed from the sides to now the center, so they're more accessible. But let's dive into each feature that's new and old in GoodNotes. Starting from the left-hand side, we're going to go to the four squares at the top. So this will be our outline of our planner. You can click on this if you want to go to a specific page. All these planners do have hyperlinked sections, but this is just if you wanted to go to a certain page within your planner that you can easily access. This is the vision board in the planner. I'm going to go back to our page that we were working on. You also have your bookmarks. So this is if you save anything, you can easily access it, which can be used with this little flag right here. And then see, I just flagged this and it popped up in my bookmark. If I unflag it, it will go away from my bookmark. You can also add this page to your outlines. If you wanted to easily access it, and then you can title what your outline will be, and it will appear in that outline tab. There's a search bar at the top. So this is it. You can search anything in your planner. So for instance, I'll just go to a thumbnail and I'll go just for the sake of this video here. And then if I click the search button, I can search tutorial and then it will bring up that vision board page, that page. So you can do this with really anything. I like to use this for meeting notes. Next is going to be this question icon with the stars on it. This is GoodNotes 6 new feature. It's going to be an AI tool. You can ask it questions or reformat your notes. Up here, this is going to be switched between your hyperlinks and then your toolbar where you can edit the PDF. So if you click on this, all your hyperlinks will work throughout the document. However, when this is unselected, see the hyperlinks won't work and now I'm just writing on it because now my toolbar is activated. Next is a keyboard. This allows you to just easily type across it. You can also format this however you'd like. I don't really use this feature because I use mine more as like a digital lifelike of my actual journal, which is why I have this set up. If you click this microphone, you can record meetings or lectures and GoodNotes AI will transcribe it for you. Clicking the page icon with a plus sign at the top was how you're going to add a page. All of these calendars have sections from January to December, as well as sections for notes, so notes templates, as well as a vision board. And if I go here, there's not another one. So if I want to add on another section to this. I will click the plus sign at the top with a little page. Your current template, it looks like the cover, but it will actually be the actual page you're on. You'll click current template. And now I have two pages of the vision board. But one is this is the original that said tutorial and this is the new one. And now if I go here, there's that notes template. You can, this is the bookmark again, this way you can share and export. So if you wanted to, if you were doing to collaborate this document with other people or export a PDF image, good notes or link. So this is if you wanted to bring it somewhere else. And then the three dots at the top will bring on more things as well. So you can copy page, rotate your page, add page to outline. You can change your template. These are the base templates that GoodNotes has, and then there's also the marketplace. You can clear page, so this would take away the text and the January 1st. I use this all the time. So I wanted to just erase this was a blank page. I click clear page and then everything goes away. And then you can also now add locks to GoodNotes so that if you have journals, which all of these can add a lock so no one can read your journal. This pin again will go from hyperlinks to no hyperlinks. So right now it's in the hyperlink mode. And then if I click it, it now goes into a toolbar mode where you can edit this PDF. The top you have a pin, which if you click on it, opens fountain pin, ball pin, and brush pin. You can edit the sharpness, the pressure, and then the flatness. 
as different ones. With GoodNotes 6, we now have dashed lines, so that's exciting. And you do still have the original two sizes with GoodNotes 5. And if you double click on any of them, you can change the thickness of the pens. Another new thing in GoodNotes 6 is there's now a pencil tool. So that'd be fun for drawing or if you want to do sketches or whatever. You have an eraser tool that you can use for a small, medium, or large, and that will just erase other things on here. You can also change what it erases. So you can do a precision erase, standard eraser, and stroke eraser. You can have it do highlights only or tape only. You have highlighter tools. And you can do small, medium, or large, as well as change the colors. The next is a tape tool. So this is new and it has different size options. And then you can also change the colors. And then you can write on top of them. You can also now color match your pins with your planner using the new eyedropper tool, which is fun. There's also a shape tool. So if you draw any shape messy, it will auto fix it for you have it already fill for you and double tap to undo the line and just have the shading of the color as well as adjusting the settings to only draw the shape and have no fill. There's also a feature with good notes. If you double tap, um, it will undo your last steps. Then the lasso tool, this is my most used feature. If you circle your text, it will help you can move it around and then also recolor your text. If you click on the circled area again, it will open a contextual menu and you can rearrange it and resize your text as well. The star with the circle around it is going to be your elements. So this is where you can save stickers, um, the stickers you've bought. And then GoodNotes also does come preloaded with a few stickers such as these back to school and this text stamps and then the everyday stickers. You can un also open the marketplace to purchase more stickers. The two squares at the top next to that's gonna be the sticky notes. These used to be comments, but now they're arranged in cute sticky notes. You can change the color and then make all your comments and put your replies there. If you double click on the sticky note, you can recolor them. There's all the color options. You can delete them. You can also collapse it to be smaller and add comments there, the same window, or you can reopen it to be a sticky note appearance and then click resolve and they will go away. Next, you can add photos from your Apple photo drive and scale them however you'd like. This is perfect for scrapbooking. Next, you can add on text, change your font. You can import font. You can change the size, reformat it, and change the color. Next is the zoom in feature. So this is so you can go to certain parts of your planner and then you can write on this little window instead of having to zoom in and write on it. Then there's a ruler. This is new to GoodNotes 6. And then there is a little pointer if you're doing tutorials. And then the last new feature is this timekeeper. So if you're doing time focused task, you can use that. And that ends the tutorial of GoodNotes 6 features and a little intro of how to use them.